Ever wondered if diamonds could grow like plants? Or what if you could own a stunning rock without digging up the earth? Welcome to the sparkling world of lab-grown diamonds. The gems that are not only redefining luxury, but also giving Mother Nature a well-deserved break. We're taking you behind the scenes of one of the most fascinating scientific feats of the modern age, creating diamonds in a lab. Imagine holding a diamond that is physically, chemically, and optically identical to one mined from the earth, but made in just weeks instead of billions of years. How does this magic happen? And why are these gems capturing the hearts of eco-conscious and budget-savvy buyers? Let's uncover the secret process. Every diamond begins with something humble yet extraordinary, the diamond seed. This wafer-thin slice, smaller than a fingernail, holds the blueprint for creating a gem that could grace engagement rings, earrings, or even crown jewels. But where does this seed come from? And why is it the cornerstone of the lab-grown diamond revolution? The journey starts with high-quality diamonds, often from previous lab-grown specimens. These diamonds are meticulously carved into ultra-thin wafers using laser-guided precision saws equipped with diamond-tipped blades. This isn't your average hardware store circular saw. We're talking about machinery capable of slicing with tolerances down to microns, thinner than a strand of human hair. Here's a little known fact. The choice of seed isn't random. Each wafer must be flawless because even the smallest imperfection can ruin the growth process. Imagine planting a seed in your garden, but with the condition that it must sprout perfectly symmetrical roses or it's game over. No pressure, right? And here's where the magic gets even more intriguing. One diamond seed, no larger than a penny, can produce multiple diamonds in a single growth cycle. Yes, it's like the goose that lays the golden eggs of gemstones. Scalability is a game changer here, making lab-grown diamonds not only sustainable, but also economically viable for widespread use. So, how do you even cut a diamond thin enough to be a seed? This is where cutting-edge tech shines. Machines like the Wire EDM are used to create slices so precise that each one is virtually identical. This isn't just about efficiency, it's about laying the foundation for perfection. Each seed is then polished and inspected under microscopes to ensure it's ready for the next step, growing a masterpiece. But here's a question to ponder. If one seed can grow multiple diamonds, why isn't every diamond flawless and identical? The answer lies in what happens when these seeds face extreme conditions using one of two cutting edge methods, such as HPHT or CVD. Both methods sound like they belong in a sci-fi thriller and for good reason. Let's explore how each works. HPHT, the classic powerhouse. HPHT is the OG method of lab-grown diamond production, pioneered in the 1950s. Imagine replicating the Earth's natural diamond forming conditions in a highly controlled industrial setup. A small diamond seed is placed inside a press with a carbon source, and the environment is cranked up to over 1.5 million pounds per square inch. That's more pressure than you'd feel at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The heat, a scorching 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, under these conditions, the carbon melts and crystallizes onto the seed, forming a diamond layer by layer. The process is like watching a volcanic eruption in slow motion, except instead of lava, it's a pure crystalline beauty emerging. HPHT is particularly effective for producing larger diamonds, making it a favorite for creating dazzling statement pieces. However, there's a catch. HPHT is energy intensive and the equipment is enormous involving presses that can weigh hundreds of tons. It's an industrial marvel, but it's also costly to operate. This limits its scalability for some manufacturers. CVD, the futuristic contender. If HPHT is the industrial workhorse, CVD is the sleek, high-tech disruptor. CVD uses a different approach to achieve the same result, growing diamonds atom by atom. The process starts with placing a diamond seed in a sealed chamber filled with carbon-rich gas such as methane. The chamber is then zapped with microwave plasma, turning the gas into a glowing cloud of carbon atoms. 
These atoms settle onto the seed and bond, forming layers of diamond. It's like 3D printing, but on an atomic scale. Unlike HPHT, CVD operates at lower pressures and temperatures, making it more energy efficient. CVD is especially favored for its ability to produce gem quality diamonds with fewer inclusions and greater consistency. What's more, CVD allows for greater control over the diamond's characteristics, such as size, shape, and color. Fancy a blue diamond or a pink one. With CVD, customization becomes much more accessible. So, which method reigns supreme? It depends on the goal. If you're looking for large, industrial-grade diamonds for cutting tools or high-tech applications, HPHT is your go-to. But for creating high-quality gemstones that rival or surpass natural diamonds in clarity and brilliance, CVD takes the crown. Here's a fascinating insight. Over 70% of lab-grown diamond producers now favor CVD for jewelry-grade diamonds due to its precision, scalability, and cost-effectiveness. It's also less risky, as the lower temperatures reduce the likelihood of flaws forming during the growth process. What happens next might surprise you. The transformation from rough, unassuming crystals into jaw-dropping brilliance is a story in itself. So, we've grown diamonds in a lab using high-tech wizardry. But here's the plot twist. These freshly created gems look nothing like the jaw-dropping pieces you see in a jewelry store. That's when diamond cutters take a role. These experts take rough diamonds and transform them into sparkling masterpieces. But how do they decide where to start cutting? Well, it's not a random slice and dice. The first step is a kind of diamond soul reading. Experts use 3D mapping technology to peek inside the stone, identifying its hidden potential and any flaws. The goal? To figure out how to maximize brilliance and value while minimizing waste. Once the plan is in place, it's time for the lasers to shine. Literally. These aren't your everyday lasers. They're precision tools capable of cutting diamonds with surgical accuracy. And what about those classic shapes like round brilliance and emerald cuts? Why do some shapes sparkle more than others? We'll reveal the secret soon. Size or sparkle? The eternal dilemma. Every cutter faces a tough choice. Should they prioritize size or brilliance? The answer often depends on the market. Round brilliant cuts, for example, are the most popular because their 58 facets bounce light like a disco ball at a 70s dance party. But they also require sacrificing more of the diamond's original weight. On the other hand, fancy cuts like pears or cushions can retain more of the stone's size, but they might not sparkle as much. It's like choosing between a huge chocolate cake or a smaller one with extra frosting. Which would you pick? How about them, the diamond dusts? Here's a little known nugget. Around 50% of a diamond's original weight is lost during cutting. But don't worry, that, that diamond dust doesn't just vanish into thin air. It's collected and repurposed for industrial uses like high performance drills and precision blades. Even in dust form, Diamonds are in high demand. Now that we've shaped the rough gems, it's time for the ultimate glow up. Polishing a diamond is like choreographing a dance for light itself. Every facet of the diamond is carefully smoothed and shaped to ensure it captures and reflects light with dazzling precision. The goal? To achieve the kind of sparkle that stops people in their tracks. To make this magic happen, state-of-the-art polishing wheels infused with diamond dust are employed. These wheels rotate at high speeds, refining every surface of the gem down to the tiniest detail. Imagine a painter delicately brushing their masterpiece, except this canvas is the hardest substance on earth. Did you know that achieving the perfect polish can enhance a diamond's value by up to 20%? That's the power of getting it just right. While machines take on the heavy lifting, the human touch still reigns supreme. Expert polishers rely on their experience and keen eyes to identify microscopic imperfections invisible to most of us. It's a blend of cutting edge technology and old world craftsmanship that ensures no detail is overlooked. 
lab-grown diamonds are celebrated for their unrivaled clarity. But here's an interesting twist. Sometimes, being too perfect can make a diamond seem artificial. To balance this, artisans often aim for a polish that retains a natural brilliance while avoiding an over-processed look. This ensures lab-grown diamonds not only rival, but often surpass their mind counterparts in appeal. Have you ever wondered why diamonds sparkle differently under various lighting? The secret lies in how they're polished, and it's more fascinating than you might think. Finally, every diamond undergoes a meticulous inspection under specialized lighting. Here, its facets are tested for their ability to reflect and refract light, creating that mesmerizing play of colors known as fire. This is the moment where the diamond truly comes alive, ready to dazzle on a ring, necklace, or tiara. Eco-friendly bling. Mining diamonds is no walk in the park. It's more like bulldozing the park. Lab-grown diamonds, on the other hand, skip the environmental destruction and rely on renewable energy sources. It's like trading your gas guzzler for a Tesla. Did you know mining one carat of diamond can displace up to 250 tons of earth? With lab-grown diamonds, that impact is reduced to almost zero. And with sustainability on everyone's mind, choosing lab-grown feels like a small step for you, but a giant leap for the planet. Affordable luxury. Here's the kicker. Lab-grown diamonds cost up to 40% less than mined ones. That's not just a bargain, it's a revolution. You get the same sparkle, the same wow factor, but without the guilt or the insane price tag. Imagine this, a mined diamond engagement ring could cost you $10,000, while a lab-grown equivalent would be closer to $6,000. That's a vacation to Europe, folks, with change to spare. Ethical peace of mind. Let's not forget the human cost of mined diamonds. Lab-grown gems eliminate the ethical concerns tied to conflict diamonds. So when you pop the question or buy yourself a well-deserved treat, you can sparkle with a clear conscience. But here's an intriguing thought. Could lab-grown diamonds eventually replace mined diamonds entirely? The answer might surprise you. How to tell the difference. Now, you might be wondering, how can you tell a lab-grown diamond from a mined one? The answer is, you probably can't, at least not without specialized equipment. Lab-grown diamonds are identical in every way to natural diamonds, from their sparkle to their hardness. However, jewelers can identify lab-grown diamonds through subtle markers or inscriptions that indicate their origin. And what about the stigma of fake diamonds? Here's the truth. Lab-grown diamonds aren't fake. They're real diamonds, just made in a different way. The big difference lies in their origin story. And honestly, a more ethical, sustainable, and affordable story sounds like a better deal, doesn't it? Lab-grown diamonds are a legitimate investment in both beauty and value, offering the same allure without the drawbacks of traditional mining. So whether it's for love or luxury, lab-grown diamonds are the real deal. Did you know the U.S. diamond market alone is worth over $40 billion annually? Within this dazzling industry, lab-grown diamonds have been carving out a significant niche. As of 2024, lab-grown diamonds account for roughly 10% of the diamond market, a figure that's been growing by double digits year over year. By 2030, the global market for lab-grown diamonds is expected to hit a jaw-dropping $35 billion. The appeal is clear. Lab-grown diamonds are not just for the eco-conscious, they're for anyone who values getting the best bang for their buck. Millennials and Gen Z buyers in particular are driving this shift, with over 70% of these groups expressing a preference for sustainable and ethically sourced goods. Traditional diamonds have long been symbols of wealth and romance, but lab-grown diamonds are proving that innovation can make luxury more accessible. With their rising market share, Lab-grown diamonds are no longer the underdog. They're becoming the future of the diamond industry. So, there you have it. 
From tiny seeds to dazzling brilliance, lab-grown diamonds are the epitome of modern innovation. They're eco-friendly, affordable, and just as breathtaking as their mind counterparts. It's like having your cake and eating it too, but with diamonds. And here's a thought. If we can grow diamonds in a lab, what other wonders might be possible? Could lab-grown emeralds or sapphires be the next big thing? Or maybe even lab-grown gold? <laughs>